Welcome! So welcome to Egg Free Pavlova. Yes, we did say Egg Free. And Pavlova in the same, same sentence. Oh my goodness! So for anyone who's egg allergies, anyone who's a vegan, or someone who just wants to try something different, give it a shot. Okay, so our secret ingredient is... Dum, dum, dum! Drum roll, here's the big reveal. <gasps> Chickpeas! No, you can't put chickpeas in a pavlova, dude. Wait for it, bear with me, okay. So one can of chickpeas, we're just gonna open them, and then it's the drain and rinse game. We are not actually gonna use the chickpeas at all. It is merely the water from the chickpeas. Ooh. Ooh, that's original. Okay, so the water combined with the caster sugar, and we'll end up with something very like an egg white. And it'll end up like a meringue. So you could use any kind of electric whisk. We're gonna add in one can of chickpea juice. Okay, we're ready to go, here we go. Ooh. Lock and load. So we want to whisk this for 10 minutes with just the water as is. It looks amazing. It's amazing like when you take chickpea water and simply whisk it and it ends up like fluffy clouds. Wow. Okay, so we've whisked that for about 10 minutes. It's got nice and glossy and it's really, it's come up about five times its size. Uh, so we've got our caster sugar. I'm just gonna add it in little by little as it's spinning. Slowly add it bit by bit. And we're gonna simply leave this whisk for another five minutes just until it really starts to start making nice peaks. Okay, so we've got an 18 centimeter, the base of a spring form tin. We're gonna use this just as our mold because we want similar meringue shapes. Beautiful. Genius. Beauty. And that's it, we're good to go. Turn it over, just so you don't get any ink on it. Wow, it does look so cool. There should be a nice shine in it, that's what you're looking for. Okay, time wow. to start scooping it on. So it wants to be nice and shallow. So we've got enough to make four proper meringues here. We're just gonna make two just for simplicity's sake, just for this recipe. It's really lovely, it's, I feel like I'm playing the plaster or something. Trowling it on, the chickpea love. Look at this, beautiful. First thing, it's amazing, like when you do go to taste it, not a hint of chickpea, like it just tastes like meringue. It tastes creamy, frothy, delicious. We've preheated the oven to 110 degrees, we're gonna pop it in, we're gonna bake it for two and a half hours. So we've let these cool for half an hour, we've had them in the oven for two and a half hours, they're perfect, they're ready to go. Okay, so they might stick to your baking parchment, and if they do, do not worry, here's a nice top tip. Bring them over to the edge of the counter here. This is great fun, this is cool. Okay. So they do stick to the bottom, so if you slowly peel like this. And just have your twin brother just play catch here. Look, you see? Slowly, oh. slowly, slowly. Because after three hours, you really don't want to get this wrong. Et voila! Ta-da! Fluffy, lovely meringue. Cloud of sweet, joyous delight. Okay, there we are, beautiful meringues, ready to rock. Okay, next step, Mr. Flynn. Next step. Okay, so on the theme of keeping things vegan, we're gonna make a coconut cream. We've got two cans of coconut milk, which we're gonna use for the cream. A top tip, if you do keep the coconut milk in the fridge, you'll have more cream in the top. We'll show you now. So we've just got a glass bowl, and we're gonna scrape it in. Look at all that. Luscious, creamy, lovely. That's the delicious, yummy. And don't worry if there's a little bit of the water goes in too, because that's just gonna help mix it. There we are, boom, ready to rock. Okay, making our coconut cream, I'll always go in with a couple of teaspoons of vanilla extract, and in it goes there, perfect. Grab the whisk. Whisk, and it's really just a case of bringing it all together to one cohesive, homogenous texture. And this is where you'll have to interact with it. This one here is a little bit kind of tight, so add a little bit of water. A little bit of the water from the can. If you don't have a whisk, a fork works very well. Nice job. Okay, you can see it's coming together nicely now. It's really like a normal cream. Beautiful, it's perfect. Okay, so cream's ready to rock, looks beautiful, look at that. Now the exciting part, we're gonna plate her up! Woo! Okay, so you need one Christmas-themed plate. Okay, we're gonna take our first base of Le Pavlova. Okay, this is really simple, as you'd imagine it. So putting half the cream on the bottom. Just spread it out, oh, this is really lovely. So we've got a whole range of berries, whatever you really want. We've got some pomegranates, You know, we're berries. going winter and festive, you know, there's blueberries, there's blackberries, there's pomegranate. Pretty beautiful. Okay, Absolutely. finally, we need a hat for our, for our pavlova. Oh, there we go. Wow. Oh, the cream. It's really fun making this. I'd highly recommend making this. It's a masterpiece. So the, the, the cream on the top is really just so the berries stick to it. And plus, you can never get enough. Okay, so here we go. Can the top with the berries. Oh, look at that. 
Beautiful. That's really nice. And then a mint for a bit of color. Oh my God, that is beautiful. Oh, thank you. And this is one regularly we fed to our granny who grew up eating meringues and pavlova and she didn't know the difference. Thanks a million for subscribing to Waitrose TV. Leave a comment if you do make this. We genuinely love to hear how you get on. And nothing more to say but... Happy, Happy Christmas! Christmas!